I define a great leader as a person who effectively helps others achieve their goals, not a great achiever who's good at achieving his goals or her goals. So we've developed a proven model for developing yourself as a leader, coaching others, and building teams. The first step of the model is you learn to ask for input. Ask, how can I do better? Then the next thing is, listen to what people have to say in a non-judgmental way. Think about it. Fight the urge to instantly respond. Thank people for their input. Don't punish the messenger. Acknowledging their contribution, not promising to do everything. Then the next thing is involve everyone around you in your own personal improvement. Then, of course, change. Does anyone really change? Well, I've spent 40 years answering the question. Yes, I can help people change. And the key to all of the success of what I teach is follow up. If you ask for input, talk to people, follow up on a regular basis and measure getting better, you improve. And the great management thinker Peter Drucker said, we spend a lot of time helping leaders learn what to do and we don't spend enough time helping leaders learn what to stop. And if they learn what to stop, they get better at what to do. For example, I teach people don't add too much value. Quit doing that. What does that mean? I come to you with an idea. Rather than saying great idea, you say that's a great idea, but. Well, what happens is the quality of the idea may or may not go up 5%, but my commitment just went down 50%. Quit saying but. Quit proving you're smart all the time. Learning not to do that really helps you empower people. Historically, in the area of employee involvement, there's been a whole focus on what the company can do to engage you, not what you can do to engage yourself. Companies have asked something called passive questions. When you ask a passive question, you get an answer that blames the environment. Do you have clear goals? No, they're confused. Do you have meaning at work? No, they make me do trivia. Active questions, especially ones that begin with the phrase, did I do my best to? really encourage people to look in the mirror and say, did I do my best to set my own goals? Did I do my best to engage myself rather than waiting for the company to engage me? Just asking yourself active questions every day can make a huge positive difference. Well, three tips to really help people in a practical way are number one, learn about your own bad habits. To teach you not just what to do, what to stop. Number two, ask for input, learn to listen to it, follow up and measure your own improvement. And then number three, the active questions. Get in the habit of testing yourself every day on doing what's most important in your life. By the way, everything I teach is very easy to understand. It's difficult to do. And it's not difficult to do because it's intellectually difficult. It takes a lot of courage to look in the mirror. It takes a lot of humility to admit you can improve. And it takes a lot of discipline to do the work required to get better.